Hi, I'm Corey Geiger, joined by Neil Wardell for our PSU presser. This got finished with Bill O'Brien's first Tuesday press conference leading up to Ohio. And first and foremost, you know, O'Brien has handled all of these things so well since getting the job in January, Neil. Now he gets to coach football. I'm sure this has got to be an exciting and thrilling time for him and everybody because now they can actually focus on what their job is and not all kinds of PR and damage control. Yeah, and I thought uh, in most of the big picture questions about, you know, the traditions and, uh, and how the whole community needs lifted up, uh, that he brought, he kept bringing it right back to football and that their job and is between the lines. So I think that's what he's sold to the team and the focus and whatnot. And I'm impressed with his poise. Um, you know, if he's overly excited right now, it didn't really show today. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, definitely he was just trying to focus on football. Yeah, I'll agree with you. I think the biggest thing in sports, I, I strongly believe this, no matter what sport you play, control what you can control. Don't worry about all the rest of the things going on. Control being a football player. Control coming out here. Keeping your emotions under control. And I think that is one issue that we're going to need to look for Saturday because obviously these kids on this Penn State football team have been through an enormous amount of adversity. And they're going to be they're going to have a lot of emotions Saturday. You can't play just completely on emotions for four quarters though. They're going to have to make sure that they have a good balance of that. Yeah. Well, uh, Hodges kind of touched on it. They had a few players available today, um, and he's touched on you know it's sometimes in, in practice the emotion, the anger, the excitement has come out, and uh, they need to keep everything in in check. And you know the eyes of the nation are going to be on Penn State. Um, you know, fairly or not, and you know they're going to be looking for missteps and whatnot, and and the players are going to have to continue to conduct themselves. And that's one thing we always saw in the Paterno era. You rarely saw taunting. You rarely saw excessive celebration. So that, I think that'll be a point of emphasis uh, going forward, even with the new coaching staff. Now, as we look at Ohio, ten and four last year, won a bowl game, favored in the MAC. Sports Illustrated, one of their writers, picked Ohio to go twelve and zero actually, and Ohio's a good MAC team, and the line is six points, so clearly Penn State has some things to be worried about, and we'll get to our scores in a minute. This is a better Ohio team maybe than people realize. Well, this is a better opener than Penn State has had. Uh, I was just looking at a string of their openers, really about the last 10 openers have been so soft collectively. Uh, the best teams, this may be the best team that they've had come in. Uh, they had South Florida a couple years ago. Uh, they had Akron two or three times. But these MAC level teams are the high end of their openers. Now this year, um, you know, they'll be challenged because of everything that they've been through. But just generally, if you look back, uh, you know, over their history over the last 20, 25 years, there was a number of kickoff classics. There was Arizona, Texas Tech, there Minnesota. I mean, they sometimes open the Big Ten. So, you know, uh, I think this will be a challenging opener. And Ohio can throw the ball. They've got a quarterback in Tyler Tettleton, 3,300 yards last year, 64% completion, 28 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Now, that's mostly against MAC opponents. And I don't want to, you know, discredit the MAC, but it is a second tier conference after the big conferences. But Tyler Tettleton can do a lot of things. They lost their leading receiver and running back. But with a questionable secondary, an unproven secondary like Penn State has, it's going to be interesting to see right off the bat if they can stop a team that's going to come out here in the shotgun, primarily running a pistol offense, and is going to get rid of the ball quickly. Yeah, and that could, uh, how, how quickly are Penn State going to, how much are they going to send people? You didn't see that in the past, excessive blitzing, the, the philosophy, and it obviously served. Penn State well for many many years but for the most part it was a it was keep everything in front of you and their strength in the defense is the front seven so they're going to go after the quarterback and leave the secondary an inexperienced secondary out there naked in a lot of uh, island man-on-man -man coverage we'll see but uh, I think you're going to have to get to the quarterback all right again the line is six points which is a little surprising I think it opened at nine it's dropped to six what's your score I picked 27 to 13 Penn State um, you know, I, I would think the game would be competitive into the second half, but I also think the defense is going to have to keep a handle on this game while the offense 
gets used to everything being new. And I've got Penn State 24 to 16. I think Penn State's offense will do a, a good job, not maybe, maybe necessarily a great job. They've got some receivers and running backs that still have to get their feet wet, but I don't think Ohio is really going to be able to match up with them a lot as long as Penn State can do some things on offense. I've got 24 to 16, and we do want to point out four local kids on this Ohio team. Futrell, Lewis, Wynn from Altoona, and also McGrath from Holidays Burn. They're all expecting to be starters for this Ohio team. So great for those kids. Four kids from Blair County who get to start for a very good Division I team that should have a good year in its conference and get to come and play in front of 100,000 yeah, people. Speaks well of our football. Then we have Justin Gilday who played at Holidaysburg coming in a couple weeks with Temple. So we haven't seen that that much over the years where this many local kids are contributing uh, at this level. All right, for Neil Riddell, I'm Corey Geiger. We'll be here every week with our PSU presser at AltunaMirror.com.